welcome back to part two of painting a realistic succulent. I continued painting the leaves around and started in the middle. I'm just going to deepen these edges. And these are the same painted this in the same process as the outer leaves. There's just a lot more uh, depth in this middle area. So you're giving the illusion of, of depth. So a lot darker colors, a lot more shading, and a lot less highlighting. And you just continue working your way around the succulent. Get that a little bit lighter. Let that dry down a little bit. And we'll go back in and add some more shading and some highlight. And I'm using the pen. You can see it adds a lot of great detail and depth to these darker areas and really defines your edges. And the great thing about it, it's like a watercolor pencil, or excuse me, a watercolor pen and that if it's too harsh, you don't like it, you just take a damp, clean brush and go over that marker and it helps to blend out the colors, soften the edges. But it's a great little tool that I use to help really define the edges and add a lot of depth and make your images sort of pop off the paper. That is way too light. So I'm gonna go back in with some hooker's green. That's better. And I'm going to go in with a really small detail brush to really get in this tiny little area and define those edges. And remember, the smaller the brush that you use, the less water it holds, the less paint it holds. So you need to refill your brush a lot more often. back into the burnt umber to add a lot more depth and shading behind this little leaf right here in the front. And then to really make that pop, we're going to use the light olive green, mix it with some yellow. Get on the back side. And a little tip. And then to highlight the very front, which is right here, I'm using some titanium white mixed with a little bit of the olive green. I hardly ever use white to highlight just on its own. It's a little bit too harsh. <clears throat> 
Same thing with using straight black. I use the burnt umber for almost all of my paintings for shading. And it gives the correct amount of depth, especially if you use it straight. And then if you go in with a little uh, sepia tone marker, it'll really help to give that depth to your paintings. Nice sharp edges. And you just continue that process all the way around. Each leaf, you break it down leaf by leaf, step by step, shading, highlighting, that's how you paint realistically. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy.